Hi, my name is Sophia Stevenson. And I'm Donna Farrell. And this is Music, Music News. Last week, Discord Records launched the Fugazi Live series, a massive concert archive from one of DC's most formative post-hardcore bands. The collection will feature 800 shows ranging from their very first to their very last. Because of the band's long-standing commitment to affordable ticket prices, anyone can preview one track for free or download an entire show from anywhere for $1 to $100. For the true Fugazi fan, the entire collection is available for $500. The Boss is back. Mr. Bruce Springsteen is coming out with a new album, a new tour, and was recently announced as the 2012 South by Southwest keynote speaker. This week, America's most beloved Canadian rock group, Nickelback, debuted their new album, Here and Now, at number two on the pop charts, selling 220,000 copies in their first week alone. What? 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 In a strange turn of events, music industry and tech blog, Digital Music News, has been subpoenaed to turn over all electronic information relating to an anonymous comment posted to one of their forums. The comment, supposedly written by a current GrooveShark employee, states that the company knowingly infringes upon artist content and violates DMCA statutes by uploading thousands of unlicensed tracks. In response to the comment, Universal Music Group has filed a $17 billion lawsuit against GrooveShark. Both the comment in question and a more in-depth look into the lawsuit can be found online at loyolamusicnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Donna. And I'm Sophia. We'll see you next week.